Welcome back everybody to another Adobe Muse tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve Looney and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do what's called flexible browser with elements. And basically what that is is right now you're looking at the screen. This is a zoomed out version of my business website. Now this is a 27 inch screen that I'm looking at right now. If we were looking at this on a cell phone or a uh, tablet or anything different than the size of my screen because you really can't get that much bigger with these. You want to make sure certain elements span from left to right and that's why it's called full width, 100% width. Now if you see on my website right now, besides the background image and the coloring and the I have these two other swirls, those are images on top of everything. I have from left to right this little blue strip on the top Right behind the navigation, I have this two different blues that go behind there from left to right. And then on the bottom in my footer, I have a turquoise-ish type box that goes from left to right. Now, if I shrink my browser and I start to go like this, let's really look at the navigation. You're going to notice that although everything moves on the page, we still have these elements that are going from left to right. Now, like I said, difference in screen sizes, you want to make sure that your elements are spanning no matter what the size is. So technically, the element I'm about to build, I can literally take my browser and I can open it forever. And these elements are going to basically stay there. So let me jump in. Let me fix this real quick. And let me jump into Adobe Muse and show you exactly how to do this. Now I'm in Adobe Muse CC and I'm going to show you the three elements I just pointed out before. Number one, here is one of them. It's a rectangle. It's a simple rectangle filled with blue. Uh, right here is a rectangle filled with a texture or an image that I had spanned across here. And that is actually one way to do it. And the other way to do it is to actually uh, make the same fill that you're making up here, which is the way that we're going to do it today. And on the bottom in the footer is basically this green. And it's cool because I like it how the gray is here so you don't see all that. I like to see what I'm designing. That's the main focus, the middle of the website. And the fact that it really cuts off here besides this uh, big element right here that's going to be part of my web banner, my fading web banner, um, these uh, end right here, which is what I like. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to delete that background navigation element. And you can apply the same principles to what's going to go on down here. So what you want to do first is you want to come up here to the rectangle tool very simply and we're just going to make a rectangle. Okay. And I'm going to make the rectangle a little bit shorter than the edge for right now. And you're going to see why in a second. I'm going to come in here on my fill, grab the eyedropper and I'm going to select this blue right here. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to change my height to, I'll change it to four for right now. And now we're going to come up to file preview page in browser and we're going to see if anything has changed what happened okay you're going to notice now that we have this rectangle that we designed but it does not go from left to right it ends here abruptly and here also so we're going to jump back in and first i'm going to take this black stroke off because i could see it it's bothering me what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure the edge here and the edge here that the element lines up to it so you're basically going to line this up here. You're going to see a little red line light up on the left. You, that's how you know it's touching it. And most importantly, you have to make sure the other side lines up. And once you hit that, it's going to show you. It's going to show you the line that it's hitting on it. And we're going to now go to File, Preview Page in Browser. And boom. There it goes from left to right. It's actually that simple. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come back into here and we are going to, let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's take the rectangle we designed and go to option, click, shift it down, copying it basically, uh, and hold shift while you do it so you don't come out here. Just like in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, I believe it's the same thing. So I'm now going to literally take the height here. I'm going to make it, let's make it say 20. And I'm going to now go to option click. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. I'm going to zoom in because I want them to touch. And I want to come into my fill and just take another blue. This is a blue that I have set in here already. Actually, maybe I'll do that blue. 
x sub u by 1. Okay, so now we basically, again, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this for a second. And again, I'm going to pull this and I'm going to move it back. So once you hit it, you're going to see that it lights up right there. And we are now going to go object, send to back. While those are both selected, and that is going to be our background element. You can double check it by going to file preview page in browser. Perfect. Goes from left to right, just like that. And I'm going to jump back in right now to Adobe Muse. Bring this up here. And you might want to, uh, you know, figure out what you want to do here. Augment this if it's too high. Maybe we'll squeeze it down. We'll squeeze this part up right here. However you want to do it. Now, I want to show you something that's actually pretty cool. Uh, everything in here is actually pretty cool. But uh, this specifically, it, we're going to delete this right here. And we are now going, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to move it down just because everything's kind of in the way. A little bit more room up here. I'm going to create another rectangle. I'm just going to put it in the middle. I'm not going to have it touch the side. I'm going to come into fill and I'll literally click on the word fill. And I'm going to come to image and I'm going to put an image in here. And it's on my desktop and it is this little circle right here, this dot pattern. And I'm going to hit OK. Open that up just a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to now take this fill and I'm going to, it's going to ask me in fitting. I'm going to make sure it tiles horizontally. And I'm now going to go to File, Preview Page in Browser. And if you've been following along the whole video, you know exactly what's going to happen. That is going to happen. And I'm going to now, one, take the stroke off of it. I'm going to pull this edge to the side, and I'm going to pull this edge to the side. And again, I'm going to go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and boom, voila. It literally, it, it saves you so much time. It's so quick to do. So now, in your head, I'm sure you're thinking of other things that you can do with this. Uh, I mean, you can have, you know, you can have them go across the middle of the page. You can really have this happen anywhere on your page. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you learned in this video. Obviously, there was one thing to learn, um, but uh, any input would be great. Uh, and let me know of future videos you might want me to touch on things. But uh, again, my name is Steve Looney from graphicdesignertips.com. That is how you do the flexible browser that are elements that go 100% width. So on any device, it's going to span. So I will see you for the next tutorial. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.